WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, everyone. This is Jacob Shoup, and this is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Let's see where we ended up today. That E-mini is up about 0.6%. The SPY closing at 564, up about 0.56%. The Russell Futures tearing to the IWM. Uh, NQs up a, just kind of sideways again. We finished that way, and the composite was actually up 0.2%, slightly higher than the futures. Uh, the Dow Futures up 1.82%. We did not finish above 40 1,000 of the Dow Jones, but we were pretty close, up about 1.85%, closing at 40,954. And then the gold contract, uh, pretty big talk today, up at 1.81%, uh, with silver up about two. I just want to check Igneco Eagle and just see what they're doing today, up 2.33%. That, of course, had a really cool run over the past month. And then we just take a look at GDX as well, see where that closed up about 3.5 percent so pretty good day uh, for gold in the miners as well tesla up about 1.59 percent in steel dynamics then at a dollar just bouncing off the 104 level probably going to stick in that man that's a really good bouncing off that level too and of course you know with rate hikes coming down you get that dxy down as well i was talking a little bit well first i should say if you didn't catch the program uh the last hour Go to YouTube.com, type in TFNN, you're going to check the videos, this is our archives of all of our shows that we have, and I interviewed Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle and Basil Chapman with the opening call newsletter, you can catch Basil tomorrow at 10am, but Basil is doing a subscriber webinar for all of the subscribers to the opening call newsletter, now is the best time to do this because we have the Tiger Dollar sale going on, which gets you huge savings and huge bonuses. That is going to be July 23rd, which is next Tuesday, a week from today, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That is sectors and stocks to focus on in the next phase of the market cycle. Again, you just go to TFNN.com and then click newsletters. Uh, I was talking a little bit about Burberry, and I didn't realize how bad it actually was um, before I started reading it. Yeah, they're actually suspending dividends as well. Burberry had a really... They've had a rough time in the past, like, honestly, in this in this century. You had a demographic that, that they weren't um, marketing to really by Burberry. And um, uh, for some reason, they didn't like that very much. And it slowed down their their uh, their purchases a lot. To read up on that, folks, thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. with uh, Tommy O'Brien and the Morning Market Kickoff. Take care.